Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kick and Push. My name is Alex Halsey. I'm the health fitness specialist at the Mitre uh, McLean location. Welcome in y'all. Hopefully y'all guys are ready to get going for our workout today. I'm coming to you all earlier than usual because I need to make sure that I'm available to help out at another site. So I'm going to broadcast our workout today at an earlier time and that way you guys can still get your workout in. Um, and we don't have any hiccups or pauses in what we usually do. So uh, you will need weights for today's workout. It's a kettlebell or dumbbell based workout just like last week. And we're gonna have uh, two intervals of 10 minutes and then we'll be done. All right, so uh, if you have lighter and heavier options available, I suggest you keep them both around. Um, just so that way you can kind of go up in weight or down in weight if you need to. Always start off light uh, and see if you can handle more weight. But of course you can always do the reverse too. Just you do what you know you can handle. Use your better judgment, all right? Your workout. Make sure you get something from it, all right? And you know best, so follow your gut, all right? So again, check the description to see what moves we have for today. We're going to go with two compound movements. Uh, in both intervals. Uh, what that means is we're gonna have one three move compound with our core exercise in the first interval. And in the second interval, we're gonna have another three move compound exercise with the same core exercise. We're gonna do the same core exercise for both. So that way we can get the opportunity to have lots of reps and really target the core since the focus is on uh, upper body and core. The fewer moves we have to do, the more work you can get done um, with regards to the muscle groups we're trying to target. All right, so let's go ahead and get warmed up um, and make sure you have your weights. Of course, if you have some water, keep that near, but let's go ahead and get warmed up so we can get in and get out. So come down to the ground, starting off with some child pose rocks. So bring your butt back. To your heels and bring the hips down to a cobra. Just rock them back and forth gently here. We're gonna go right into cat cow from here. Make sure you're squeezing the abs and squeezing the glutes. We come into the cat from here. I'm gonna bring the right hand to the temple, rotate up, and then bring the elbows together. Look toward the ceiling. Switch sides. All right, then come to a high plank. I'm gonna push your butt back to your heels. Push the butt back to the heels. Into down dog, push back. Push back as far as you need, as far as you can. Pushing the head between the arms. Alright. 
flip around, come to your butt. We're gonna go to a table, roll the shoulders back, pop the chest out, fingertips facing backwards and elevate the hips. Don't let the shoulders roll forward. Keep those shoulders roll backward. Like you're trying to push your shoulder into the ground. Last one. Go ahead, come on up to a straddle position. Gotta bring your palms to the floor. Don't step on your phone. You're gonna rotate. Reach your arms straight up to the ceiling. Don't come, you don't have to come here, but just reach your arms straight up. All right. Last move right here. Grab the elbows, all you're doing is Going in a circle, using your arms is sort of like a pendulum. You're pushing your right shoulder to your left foot, then your left shoulder to your right foot. And we're gonna switch directions. Let gravity take you all the way down. Don't fight it. All right. And if you want, you can go ahead and do some jumping jacks. I'll show you our first three move compound along with our core move. So for our first compound movement, we're gonna have, uh, use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. If you have resistance bands, you can use those as well. And of course you can always make an improvisation uh, sort of resistance device uh, in your home if that's what you have. So we have rows, flies, and curls. Rows, right here, bent over rows. You're gonna push your butt back, drop your chest down, try to keep a straight back from the hip to the shoulder, and you're going to row, pull toward your hip. We don't want the uh, kettlebell to come toward the armpit, Get that forearm perpendicular to the floor. We don't want the forearm in the armpit perpendicular to the floor. Easy way to do that, pull to the hip. Pull toward the hip. Um, fly. <clears throat> You're gonna bend over. If you have a kettlebell, I would suggest flipping it so that the bell is in your palm. Fly, right here. Because I only have one kettlebell, I'll be doing one side at a time but that's gonna make it a little bit harder because that just means I'm at number one, I have the unweighted, uh, the weight is uneven. And on top of that, I'll be able to keep going and going and going and going and going. All right, so that's number two is a fly. And number three is a curl, okay? Curl. So you go from one straight into the next, straight into the third. Our core move, in and out with a leg lift. Starting off. Legs in, kick out, leg lift. Legs in, legs out, leg lift. Alternatively, you can just do the in and out or just the leg lift. Do whatever uh, you feel that you can continue to handle through the second interval. Because remember, that core move is the same for both of these 10 minute intervals. Uh, but our compound move will change. All right, so let's get into it. We have 10 minutes with the row, fly, curl, and the ab move. We'll take a minute break. I'll show you the next three moves in the next sequence for the next 10 minute interval, and then we'll get going. All right, so let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it. Two, one, go. Starting off with the row. Again, if you have two dumbbells in each hand, go for it. We're looking for 10 reps on each side. 
you have two dumbbells, you can use, or two kettlebells, you can use two hands, otherwise if you just have one like me, that's okay, that just means you're going to have to switch hands, and you're going to get not much of a break, but that's okay. The goal here is to keep moving through the moves like always. <sighs> flaps, rows right into the flaps. Depending on the weight will depend on how hard it is for you to hit that rep count. So adjust the rep count for each move if you need to based on the amount of weight that you have. When you're doing these fives, you keep the same amount of flexion or you keep the angle uh, in your elbow the same throughout your, all the motion comes through the shoulder. So when I come out, I'm not extending my arm and then bringing it back in. I'm locking it into place. I'm coming out and back in, all right? That stays the same. Uh, curls. Start off with your non-dominant hand. I'm left-handed, I'm starting off with my right. Again, adjust the reps to fit the weight that you have. Ten. If you have heavier weight, do less reps. I have a heavier kettlebell here, so I'm going to be doing less reps for certain moves once I go up in weight. All right, to the core move. Seven and a half minutes to go. Again, you can just choose one of the two core moves if doing both of them is too hard. Otherwise, you're gonna do the kick out and the leg lift. 10 reps here as well. And we're back to the top. That's one round. We're doing as many rounds as we can. We've got six minutes and some change to go. So we're back on the rows. Again, start off with your non dominant hand if you can. Folding over at the waist. You're not squatting, you're folding right over at the waist. Pull to the hip. Don't forget to switch arms. If you have one dumbbell or kettlebell, try to go for both at the same time if you can. All right, flies. But you know what? I'm going to switch up the order. I'm going to do curls just so that way uh, flies. I give my back a rest. To, but you can do the same thing. Uh, doing the flies right after the rows is a little challenging just for the back. So if you need that rest like I do, go ahead and take it. Going five at a time, five at a time to equal my ten. We've got five minutes to go, which means we are just about halfway. Okay, now we can go into the flies. Non dominant hand, it's my right. And 
has to. I am going to have and try to get your torso to be as bent over as you can. The more parallel your torso is to the floor, the more you're working the back. The more upright you are, the more you end up working the shoulder. And we're trying to work the back here and the, po the back side of the shoulder. Back to the core. Four minutes flat to go. Again, adjust your rep count based on the weight you have. If you need to go up, go up. If you need to go lower, go lower. All right? And I'm actually just going to stick with what I have instead of going up, especially just because everything is one-handed. I don't need too much weight. All right, so we're back to the rows. Starting off with a non-dominant hand. Two minutes and some change to go. Get, get that torso as folded over as you can. You're not squatting, you're folding at the waist. Go right into your curls if you need a break for your back. Got just under two minutes to go. All right. Do well, do what you can to hold your form, control the weight as it goes back down to the earth or the ground if you're less dramatic than me. less than a minute and a half. We're at a minute and 10. I'm doing five on each side, then I'm going right back. Control your weight here as it comes back down to the ground. We got 40 seconds. And then we're gonna take our minute break. Then we're gonna hit that second 10 minute interval. All right, let's get back to the core. Finish out here, just listen for the timer. Keep going wherever you are, just listen for the timer. Okay. We got a one minute break. I'll show you what the next three moves are. So for starters, those next three moves are all gonna be on the ground. We're gonna be doing all push uh, type exercises, all right? So you can do all these moves from one position on the ground. 
Um, you might need some heavier weight for this. So if you have that an option, I suggest you maybe start off with that. But we've got a chest press pullover and skull crushers. So again, all of these moves are from the ground. Chest press, easy. If you have two dumbbells, great. You're right here. Bring the arms out to the elbows down to the ground. Keep the forearm perpendicular to the floor and the ceiling. 10 reps. Pullovers. From the top here, weight comes overhead. Back up. Skull crushers. Same exact movement or positioning. You just bend the elbows and straighten them out. Bend the elbows, straighten them out. Those are our three moves. You guys know the core move is the exact same. Let's keep it going. This is our last interval and we're done. So go ahead and start. One. Again, we're looking for 10 reps each side. If not, just adjust your amount of reps to match what weight you have. All right, whatever you can handle with the weight that you have, that's what you need to do. Pullovers, we kind of go right into it. Arch in the upper back, but not in the lower back. Take the arms out if you need to. Should be a little fatigued here. And you're gonna go right into your skull crushers or your tricep extensions. So just bend the arm, the elbows, right over the skull. Three, four, five. Now I'm gonna need lighter weight here. Whew. Again, switch the weight if you need to. Eight, five, ten. Right back to the core move. Same core move. Leg lifts in and outs, or you're doing one or the other. Adjust your weight. I'm definitely a little tired. The workout has started. Once you get tired, that's when the workout has start has started because you gotta challenge yourself to keep going. So if y'all are watching, yell at me to keep going, to keep moving, because I am absolutely getting tired. I feel, I feel it, I feel it. So again, just take your time, find a pace, a rep count that allows you to keep going. Splitting these chest presses in half since I have heavier weight, just like I did with the curls in the first interval. You can do the same if you need to. Okay. Don't press stress out about 
How you get it done? Just try to get it done. Pullovers. Split your reps up if you need to. Just do what you can to keep moving. Come on, guys. Workout has started. Tricep presses. Here we go. Skull crushers. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Still time check. <laughs> or, yeah, still time check. Let me get ready to go to the core. We've got four minutes flat. <sighs> Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Hopefully, I'm not the only one having a hard time. Keep going, Alex. Keep going, Alex. Keep going, you too. Keep going, you too. Uh, pullovers. Woo. Come on, Alex. Come on. Slide down. Make sure you have space for your pullovers. Maintain a slight bend in the elbow. <sighs> Try to set extensions. We're closing in. Time check. We've got 50 seconds. So I'm gonna try to get through these and the core exercise. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 
finish out where you are. You're me, that means finishing with the core. Again, finish with the core on the first interval, we're gonna finish with the second. Shut it down, shut it down. That was a tough workout. So hopefully you guys have some water. I don't have any today, I'm gonna have to run and drink some when I leave this closet. But grab some water if you have it. Cool down, put your weights up. We're gonna cool down here in a second. Just need to catch my breath and get some fresh air in here. Okay, good work, y'all. Good work. So, hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Definitely challenging for me. Hope it was just as challenging or uh, fun <laughs> for you as well. Okay, so I'll be like, so I'll come and see you guys earlier today because I'm going to be helping out at another site. And I just need to make sure I'm available uh, to do all the tasks and things that they'll need me to do, and I won't be home. So um, you guys can watch this earlier. Hopefully, uh, if you are available to work out today. Kudos for you. Just stay consistent. Do what you can. Keep being consistent. All right? Somebody knows. I might not see you, but you know. Take pride in that. Being consistent with your workouts. All right? So let's go ahead and cool it off. Going to come down to the floor. Going to come right to your belly. All right? Going to bring the left hand to 9 o'clock. And we are going to... Turn to our right. You can bring the right leg over your left leg and just turn to your right. Reach far to your left with your left arm. So make sure you're getting a good stretch on the chest, the bicep, and the shoulder. And of course, breathe. And you're going to switch sides. Bring the right arm to 3 o'clock. Same thing. Push yourself back into child's pose. Reach up nice and high. Stretching out the lats here. Gonna thread the left arm under the right. switch. Bring right arm under the left. And you're going to come up. All fours, turn your fingertips towards your body. Walk your fingertips or your knees into your fingertips. 
walk your knees into your fingertips and then sit back, stretching out the forearm and the bicep. Go ahead, come on up out of that stretch. Arms right from the tricep. Bring the right arm up and over behind your head. Pull down with your left hand on your elbow. So really do appreciate you guys for joining me today for push and pull. Relax and switch. Keep stretching if you need to. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Get some sunshine. Get some lunch or some breakfast and relax. Remember to get up and take your breaks uh, throughout your work day. Loosen yourself up, fight that stiffness. So thank you all for joining me today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Holla.